how could any state allow you to take care of children? You see a nine-year-old playing roughly with a four-month-old infant who you have already told to take out of a swing because the baby was crying. That's your job. You leave the sink or you leave the television or you leave whatever you're doing and you go inside and you attend to the baby. Not you. You tell the nine-year-old, play nicely. According to her, I just want you to... You saw the baby being taken by the legs and ankles and swung, this was the motion that you made, and swung around the room, and you say to a nine-year-old, play nicely. I'm gonna read on. When the baby continued to cry, when you, so then, and you turn away, because it says, when the baby continued to cry, I looked to see what was going on. So now you tell him, play nicely, after you saw him swinging around the baby, Play nicely, you went back to doing what you're doing. Your nails, the TV, something. Because God knows where he was. We were making And the money. older brother was still not being gentle enough. Again, do you run in? Does genius over here run in, take this four-month-old defenseless infant away from a nine-year-old little boy? No, not the two of you. I told the older brother he wasn't playing with him correctly and to put him back in the swing. The baby never stopped crying after that. If the state of Idaho doesn't take away your license to take care of other people's children, I have no idea who's running that shop. No idea. Outrageous. So I assume from this answer that, according to you, it's the nine-year-old's fault. I don't know that it happened in my care. Well, in all the time that you were taking care of the baby, prior to that, did you ever call the mother and say to her, come and pick up the baby, the baby won't stop crying? No. In all the time that you took care of the baby? No. And this time you called her and said, come and pick up the baby, the baby won't stop crying. And within 24 hours, the baby was in surgery for a broken leg. You think that that's coincidental? Maybe the baby was having a bad day. She had suggested that he was constipated when she, when I called her. If I were running the social service department in Idaho, tomorrow your license should be yanked. Tomorrow. They did an investigation and they Tomorrow! Came back and... Then the person who did an investigation had an IQ in the double digits. <laughs> in a minute because how you can justify, all you have to read is your answer, which I believe, which I believe. You and the genius were inside cooking, you have 10 to 12 children, including a four month old infant, and your babies, and you have to be cooking together so that nobody is really watching the four month old baby. Nobody. We're done, I'm so, I'm, so, I'm so upset. Anyway, judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000, that will cover $4,000 of your medical bills, plus some. You have a counterclaim for legal fees because you had to hire a lawyer because of charges that, good! Counterclaims dismissed, we're done. Parties are excused, you may step out. This was extremely difficult, my son. I do feel bad. I could hear him screaming when I he, when she called me. I love children, and it's... And that entire night when he was getting x-rays, a sad situation that he was injured. I knew right away I'm a nurse, and it's an unfortunate accident. Like, his leg was bent out to the side and it wasn't moving. Nobody knows if the accident happened in my care. And when I picked it up, it grinded. You could feel it and hear it. They closed the case. They had not enough evidence to charge me with a crime. He, during the entire investigation with the police, plead the fifth. There, they had no findings. That would be why they don't have enough evidence. Don't let siblings help with with the babies. I'm very, very happy to say that he's perfectly fine now and walking.